What up fam band, welcome back to another video of the Tundra, aka Stormbreaker. I like the name. Um, so what are we getting into? What are we getting into today? Um, so today, as you can tell, it's, it's a sunny day. I got my top open. It looks really nice outside. So I figure, let me see if I can get these calipers done today. Let me see if I could get these calipers. I feel, I feel like Will Ferrell in, in Talladega nice, like not knowing what to do with my hands. <laughs> um, I need to go uh, to Home Depot real quick. Cause um, uh, I thought I had everything for my calipers, but apparently one of my kids, um, one of my teenage boys took my masking tape and my masking wrap, um, I can't find it. I can't ask them. They're in school right now. So um, I'm going to just go to run to Home Depot and I got to get uh, masking tape and I got to get my masking wrap. You know, I, I had plenty of it. Um, I thought for sure I would have it in where I have all my stuff at, but I checked in there and it's not in there. So I got to run to Home Depot, get that. But right now, I don't know if you can tell behind me it's starting to pick up a little breeze and that's why i'm that's why i try to tell you guys in the last video man it's if we don't have the rain we have a breeze that turns into a crazy wind i live in fontana so everybody knows fontana is the windy city um in socal uh we have the highest winds in socal right here and it's a beautiful city don't get me wrong um and when it's a beautiful day no wind just like a little breeze is like it's really nice but fontana has some crazy winds and it's and it's and it's hard to do anything in this way, like paint related or, you know, maybe wrapping a car or something like that. It's hard to do it in this city unless you have somewhere inside to do it, which we used to have garages right here, uh, like I explained in my last video. But they took those down when they put, you know, solar panels up here on the, the townhomes. I'm sorry if I keep itching my nose, guys. I have uh, my hairs. They grow long, so I got to I gotta cut them again. Um, but, yeah, so anyways... Let's run to Home Depot. Excuse me. Let's run to Home Depot. I'm in my work shirt. Um, I thought it was gonna be cold because sometimes on days like this, even when the sun's out and it's bright, it's really cold still. So, uh, especially after all the rain and, and record snowfall and all that stuff we just had. So, but it feels really good. So, yeah. When I come back, I'm gonna jack up the truck, or, or actually, I'm gonna take the truck to go get washed. So I'm gonna go to Home Depot first, take the truck to get washed, and then. Um, um from there bring it back because i don't want to you know do the brake calipers and have them looking nice behind some dirty ass rims so i'm gonna do that clean the truck up a little bit i mean it's not bad the rain really whatever kind of rain that was some chemical type of rain it washed the truck but my rims are dirty so um yeah real quick let's run to home depot uh let's, i'm gonna get that masking tape masking wrap um I might as well grab an exacto knife right because I have razor blades, but I'd rather grab an exacto knife and um use that and then um yeah, and then from there we'll go do the, the car wash in the truck because I want it when I do the brake helpers, I want the like I want to take some pictures, you know. I know it's gonna make a big, big difference. I know it's gonna make a huge difference, and that's that's one thing that I like doing. I like doing little things that make a big difference, you know. So when you're looking at the truck from the side, you see the white, you know, pearl paint um then you see the the black the black method rims and they have like the the little bronze um uh, uh nuts or bolts or whatever on them and then the trimming on the truck is like bronze and chrome um so but i'm trying to i'm trying to do more like a white like anything mechanical on the truck i want to do like like a polished or a red like type of theme you know so stuff inside the engine bay i want to keep it red or polished um you know suspension red or polished um same thing with my calipers i want to do them um, red and then put the white trd stickers on them and then um maybe get some uh uh red type of lug nuts or something to see how that looks uh, we'll see you know i don't i don't like stuff looking ricey and out of place so i just like subtle little differences that make a like a big difference um so we'll see we'll see uh let's go to home depot real quick and um grab what i need over there real quick all right you guys uh just got back from being inside home depot i was gonna record for you guys but man there's so many people around and i'm still i'm still kind of camera shy i'm getting better at it but i mean can't i'm not i'm not at that point where i can sit there and talk to my phone in front of people yet but 
So I got this. This is what I usually get. It's a 3M uh, masking film. I like this because it, it, it keeps unfolding and it gets bigger and bigger. Um, so she said, but. Um, so I got masking tape. I usually get this one right here. It does a pretty good job of uh, sticking to multi-surfaces, contractor grade. And then I got the X-Acto knife um, to cut whatever I need to cut on the film. I usually get a razor blade, but the thing with the razor blade, um, because like the usually the razor blade holder, you know, you have the razor and then the razor blade holder is like square and bulky. And usually what happens when I get to that point of like cutting it, like, you know, if the razor pokes all the way through, it messes up like kind of like the cut because now the, the holder of the razor is touching it and because it's bulky. I can't explain it. It just it just messes up the film. So hopefully this being a, like a round, a round handle, um, this won't mess up uh, on cutting the film. So now, now oh, off to the car wash and let me see if I can get some pretty good shots at the car wash. You know, I haven't recorded, took pictures at the car wash yet. Usually um i take it to this car wash that my dad has always took me to growing up and they always do a pretty good job uh but um you know i haven't personally like washed my own truck as sad as that sounds i haven't washed it um i did we have a pressure washer at my job my plant that i work for our semi trucks and i i did use that to get the undercarriage of my truck a couple of times um but other than that i haven't like washed my truck so uh, i'm about to go to the car wash and wash my truck and see if i can get some cool pictures right there you know hopefully it's not a long line because i one thing i hate doing uh, when i used to do it with my other vehicles um trying to get some cool pictures when you have a line of cars sitting up there trying to you know um w waiting their turn and you're sitting there taking pictures all nonchalant and you know people who have places to go you know uh that used to bother me when i pulled up behind people and they're just sitting there you know soapy all soap all over their car or whatever and they just seen they're going around their their car with the camera team i'm like bro i'm trying to i'm trying to hurt and get in here and get out of here you know so I, I hate doing that when there's a line of cars waiting to get in the car wash you know and the one i go to is pretty popular so um hopefully right now there's not a lot of vehicles there uh if there is i'll probably try to get a couple shots in if there's not then uh, i'll take my time and try to get something dope for you guys but um, see you guys at the car wash right now, man. All right, everybody, welcome back. Um, as you can tell, I uh, went to the car wash. I did the best I could. I'm not a professional, but gotta keep trying though, right? At least, at least it's something though. Um, and then I had to go pick up my princess because it's her birthday today. Say hi, mama. Hi. This is my little princess, Athena. So um, I gotta hurry and get this done. I got about maybe three hours of uh, daylight left. Everything took a little bit longer than I wanted. And, um, but I got everything right here that I need. And so I got this, this opens up, gets bigger. I'm gonna take the wheels off right now. Got the lock in my pocket. Got this engine enamel, but we're good on the uh, calipers too. I did the same thing on my Mercedes. Uh, lasts a good time. And then I got the high gloss clear coat right here. And then I got a 600 grit all the way down to 1500 of uh, wet dry sandpaper and my masking tape so oops so i'm gonna go ahead and take off this front wheel right here i'm gonna get started on this one first and then um we'll just go from there once i get this off and uh i have the, the caliper exposed i'll go ahead and show you guys uh what i'm gonna do next all right so i got the caliper right here i got my jack and i got two jack stands underneath just for extra safety um but i'm gonna see if i could do this with the caliper on the rotor i can get the the sheets underneath there cover everything up and uh get this from front to back um i can cover this whole this whole piece up right here with a sheet and masking tape which is not a problem and then yeah i can get the back of this so 
I'm pretty sure I can get this without taking this off. Uh, my Mercedes ones, when I did those, I had to take them off. There was so much stuff in the way, but right here is just, this is just right here. I can get underneath here. I have enough uh, clearance to get underneath all this stuff. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, wrap this up because uh, I'm running out of daylight. So I'm gonna do this and, and take you guys through the steps of what I do. You guys can do it however you want, but I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. Um, but as soon as I do this and I get this one all done, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna go fast on the other ones and uh, and just speed through those and, and get this done before I run out of daylight. But I'm gonna just show you guys what I do on this, you know? So I'm gonna mask all this off uh, with the sheet and masking tape. Um, I'm gonna start with 600 grit, obviously, work my way up to uh, probably a thousand. I probably won't go past that. Or we'll see how 600 grit looks. And I'll give it a, I'm gonna clean all this up, all this brake dust and all this. I'm gonna clean all that stuff off of it right now with some um, dish soap and, and some water don't use nothing else don't use washing wax like none of that stuff that has uh, uh particles and and um deterrents in it uh because they the paint will not stick so just use uh um dish soap works the best uh like dawn or something and all this will come off easy you'll have a clean brake caliper um, i'm gonna wipe it down with some alcohol after and then i'm gonna go ahead and start prepping it painting it and we'll see how it comes out but once i get all this masked off uh i'll show you guys that all right, you guys, so as you can see, I just have the Dawn soap with water, and this is all I'm doing is, is scrubbing in every uh, crack and crevice, and just make sure you get in there. Use both sizes, because this will help, you know, like a sandpaper, just scratching some of the surface, but just get in there and get in all the cracks and crevices. I already did this front side pretty much. I mean, as you can tell, it's, it's a, just by looking at it, it's ready a lot better than what it looked like. So I'm gonna do this, the front side a little bit more. I'm gonna do the back side and then I'll show you what the caliper looks like after. All right, so as you guys can tell, I cleaned it off. I uh, got front and back. Um, and I just need to wipe, wipe it off with this. Uh, a little bit of alcohol, mask everything off, uh, sand it. Well, I might, I might just sand it before I start masking everything. So just so uh, no particles get on the masking stuff and it just gets right back on there when I'm trying to paint it. So I'm gonna sand it next, but I just want you guys to see like how much cleaner it looks when you just use dish soap and uh, water and just, you know, take your time, scrub it, clean it, and uh, you, get a, you get a really clean caliper that way. And then, um, you know, I, I didn't even see this when it was dirty. It says Advix. So I'm guessing that's the brand that they use for, uh, I don't know, for all their vehicles, but obviously for mine, um, but, yeah, so see right here, the stickers are gonna go right here on this uh, front little area right here. And then uh, obviously all this is all gonna be red. And then um, I might mask off like this little thing right there. That, shoot, camera's messing up. All right, so that little thing right there, that, I'm gonna mask off that. Um, Uh, maybe maybe not I probably I probably leave that alone just so I can fill that up and then same thing on the bottom just just the little areas I'm gonna mask off uh, obviously this this whole section right here is getting maxed off masked off and then obviously the bolts and stuff on the other side um, this little retainer type of thing right here I'm gonna take that off or maybe mask that off if it's too much trouble but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start with uh, right here 600 grit I'm gonna go ahead and start with this uh, cut, me, cut me some pieces off use it and um, I'm gonna just dry sand it I'm not gonna wet sand it I'm gonna just dry sand it um, so that way uh, makes more of an abrasion and this paint will be easier to stick to it and then we'll go from there guys um, let me get to it real quick I'm gonna start sanding this um, and like I said I'm just gonna take a piece off of it and I'm gonna just just get in all the cracks and crevices and just make sure I give myself a good uh, 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 surface area for the paint to stick to and it has something to stick to. Go back over it with alcohol, wipe it off, and uh, it'll be good to go, ready for paint. All right, so real quick, guys, just a couple of these. And you can see how, like, the shine of it went away. Um, and, like, for little areas like this, I just took a, a, a nut that I have and just wrapped this around it, got in there, did all that. 
um, get in every crack and crevice. Just use whatever you got. I did it by hand, but you know, if I have to use um, like a flat head or something just to put it behind the, the paper to get in little cracks and crevices. Uh, got front and back. Um, so now I'm gonna just wipe the whole thing down with alcohol and uh, prep it all, and then we'll just go from there. All right, so real quick guys, uh, I masked off all the bolts and stuff in the back. Um, I was gonna do these, but I'm gonna let go ahead and get those uh, over sprayed with the red. And then with these right here, if you can see that, I used the old chapstick trick. So I got the chapstick, rubbed it on there, wiped any excess off around the sides. So basically when I go to paint this and, and paint gets on that, you'll be able to wipe it off because there's chapstick on there. And I did the same thing with that one right there. So now I'm gonna just prep the rest of this area and uh, get back to you, show, how, show you how I prepped it and then we'll get ready for paint. All right, so real quick guys, uh, it's not pretty by any means. I'm just trying to hurry up because I'm running out of daylight, but this is all prepped, ready, uh, masked everything off. Um, you know, obviously underneath here, I still gotta do this little part right here, and then that's it. I'm gonna do a spray here, spray on the backside, wait a little bit, get a couple more coats in, wait a little bit, stickers, clear coat, let it dry, put the, the rim back on, and hopefully I have enough uh, daylight. I think I have about two hours left to uh, do all three. So this one, I'm just trying to take you guys step by step. The other ones, I'm gonna just run through them. So um, I'm gonna mask this off. Uh, I'm gonna get to painting. Uh, you know, not up close, guys. Just real, real subtle, far away. Like right about there. It's a little bit windy. Um, so uh, I'm gonna spray. I'm gonna spray in the direction of the wind. So that way, I don't get no like, you know, accidental sp spray over somewhere else. So, um, and then I'm gonna just mask the rest of my truck right here, uh, all the way to the top, uh, since it is blowing this way. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on this What's for you up, guys. Guys, it's a new day. Um. So, little problem yesterday, the first uh, red spray can I bought for the truck, um, I don't know if it was a wrong cap on it or what, but it ended up being orange instead of red, um, or it looked like a blood orange. I mean, it could have it been that and just been on the wrong shelf or whatever, but got the new one. We're here the second day, set it up, set up everything again, and um, I got my brother helping me today, but... This is where we're at right now. It's kind of windy, and this is what I'm talking about, Fontana. You know, it's hard to do things like this in the wind, but um, it's looking good right now. Everything's looking good. He's doing the back side of it underneath. Everything's covered. And so it's looking good. Um, we're going to just do, uh, we're doing three or four layers or four coats of it. Then after that, we're going to do the TRD stickers on them that I showed you guys. And then, um, yeah, and then we'll do like maybe two three coats of clear and then we'll knock out the other ones but that's what happened that's why i'm in different clothes uh wrong wrong uh wrong wrong red it was like an orange red so um this one's red and uh, we're trying to knock this out because the wind's picking up so i'll catch you guys right now but we're gonna try to help so, knock this out so real quick um we got the trd sticker and everything we're putting the clear coat on my brother's getting the back side with the clear coat um i was gonna take you guys to the clear coat process and me putting the sticker on but right now we got a rain advisory i got about three more hours it started drizzling just a little while ago it stopped so we're just gonna hurt and knock these out because i don't want to have one caliper done driving around and the rest of them you know stock so we're just gonna knock this out real quick but man it looks so good it looks so good i don't know if i'm the first person to um have painted uh uh calipers on the tundra yet but it looks so good and the, the stickers just added to it and then we just put the gloss and it is shining right now it's real glossy so the clear coat so it's it looks good we put um we're gonna do one more coat of clear coat and uh that should be good you guys you guys can't tell me that don't look good you guys can't tell me that don't look good i mean that looks good and you got the, the the red underneath right there the trd skip plate i mean that looks good from any angle oh. and i'm not i'm not a professional or nothing but i think i did a pretty good job you know i mean that compared compare that to i mean i mean that 
I mean, big difference. I mean, you guys let me know what you guys think. Improvement or not? Nah? I mean, just just something like that. Something that big, like small makes a big difference. Like it's like it's like a statement, you know? So I mean I'm gonna go ahead and knock the other ones out, but look at that though, man. That looks good. That looks really good. I mean That looks really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and knock these other ones out, guys, before this rain comes and Yeah, but let me know in the comments, man. What you guys think? You guys think that looks good? I mean, I like doing little OEM plus looks, and it just it just makes a big difference, you know. So I got a few more things, you know, coming, but that looks really good. So, real quick, guys, uh, probably end the video right here, but just want you guys to see. I got the back ones on both sides done. I just got to do the clear coat and stuff. Um, as you can see, I'm battling the weather. I got it's been raining on and off, but. All the both of the front ones are done. I don't know how good you guys can see, but both of the front ones are are done. And then um, I put uh, these TRD uh, Pro uh, license plate covers on. I just got those in on the front and back. Um, but yeah, as you guys can see, the front ones, those are done. And then same thing with the back one right here. I got. I got I get, I'm getting that one um, done. So all I gotta do with these right now is just put two coats of clear and the sun is right there going down. So once it goes over those the the hospital apartments, whatever, um it's I'm not gonna have no no light. So real quick, I just wanted to show you guys uh end the video. Um and you guys don't don't forget about the giveaway. Watch my last video for the giveaway of TRD stickers, um, a, a tray for the 2022 Tundra, the center console tray. And then if you guys go and follow Musology as well, the everything is on the last video. So you guys make sure you watch the last video. So far, I only had two people message me. And, um, and you know, they, they did what I asked them to do about as far as entering the raffle. So it's completely free, guys. I, th I thought more people would um, um, watch the video and... Uh, you know get entered into raffle you get there's nothing there's no information from you guys nothing all there is is whoever the winner is contact you um and you'll win the trd stickers for your brake calipers and the center console tray for the 2022 tundra which is my giveaway and then as well as musology doing a, a giveaway of their own so um i'm a little bit dirty right now guys but you guys make sure you follow uh the last or watch the last video so you guys get information on how to enter that raffle it's completely free you guys don't got to worry about nothing uh i'm covering shipping everything so you guys watch the last video so you guys don't miss out on that raffle man it's it's free completely free you know so um on that note i'm gonna end it um i'll probably get some pictures up uh when the sun comes out you know but right now i've just been battling rain sprinkles uh wind so uh, i'm gonna finish this up but this is gonna be the end of the video guys next time